Hello, today we're going to do Module 6, Lesson 8. Our objective is that we're going to represent measurement data with line plots. This is just like what we did yesterday. Please pay attention that there is a template needed for this lesson and it's stapled to your homework packet. We're going to start with an application problem. Mrs. Burns' class is studying worms. That sounds fun. They measure the lengths of the worms to the nearest quarter inch. And when I, see, see, when I read quarter, I automatically think this. The length of the shortest worm is the shortest worm is three and three fourths inches or three and three quarter inches. The length of the longest worm is five and two fourths inches or five and two quarters inches. Kathleen says that they will need eight quarter inch intervals to plot the lengths of the worms on a line plot. Is she right or why or why not? Okay, now an interval is the space. It's a it's a vivid word just to mean the space between two things. Okay. Well, hmm, I think the easiest way to do this is to draw a line plot. And put the things on there and measure it and see. Count it up. So here's my line. Go ahead and you draw your line. Now it's all going to be in quarter inch intervals. The shortest worm is three and three fourths, so we can start right here. The largest worm is going to be five and two four, so we're going to put that here. Okay, so let's count up. This this would be three and four fourths, which would be four. This would be four and a fourth, four and two fourths, four and three fourths. Now, what's four and four fourths? That would be the same as five. So we have five and one fourth and then five and two fourths. Okay, so now we have to count the intervals to see if it, there's eight. Okay, let me get, we're gonna do great. Okay, here we go, so let's count the intervals. This is where we started. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is she right? No, she, is not right because how many intervals did they need? Because they needed seven intervals, not eight. That's my good sentence. <clears throat> okay, moving on. I'm trying to make room for things. Okay. Whoops, that was from yesterday. This is what I want. Okay, here we go. This is our new chart. Now remember it has lines that go down here. And lines that go down here. It just didn't show up on this chart, this chart when I put it up there. Okay, so here's our data. And so we have heights of sunflower plants in inches. This is what they measured. Sunflower plants. Fun thing, get really tall, but these are inches. Okay, so I've got to put my scale on my line plot. I would like to highlight the ones that are the smallest. What's my smallest? Well, this one's the smallest is 61. Anything smaller than 61? Oh, 60 and a half. Anything smaller than 60 and a half? Oh, this is my smallest. What's my largest? Because I'll, I'll put my smallest here, I need my largest. Okay, well this one, my largest is 64. Anything larger than 64? 64 again. Nope. So right here's my largest. Okay. Now, if I put them here, this one's 60. The largest is over here, a 64. What are these? What are these? These are inches, so I need to label that down here. Inches. So when you look at this and you read the scale, then you'll also, you already know that it's 64 inches. Okay. What am I going to cut? What kind of partitioning am I going to do? I see some fractions. Are they all the same fractions? They're all halves. So I can mark them off in halves. Now, this one has more data and the numbers are larger than yesterday. But we can absolutely do this. Okay, 
So that tells me that I've got to go cut them in half. So then this would be 60 and a half. This would be 61. 61 and a half. Whoops. 62. 62 and a half. 63. 63 and a half. And 64. Okay, so now we're going to put our X's. <coughs> okay, 61. I'm going to try to line them up so we can read it carefully. 61 and a half. 64. 63. 62 and a half. 62. Okay. Now we're up to here. 63. Oh, we're on our second one. 61 and a half. 62. 62 and a half. 63 and a half. I got that's the first one for that one. How about 62 and a half again? Wow. 62. Wow. 61 and a half. 60 and a half. That's that first one. 62 and a half again. Here we go. 63. 62 down. Do you see how I'm trying to be very tidy? So these are all kind of in a sideways row. So they're not a bigger space in between. All right. Did I just do 62? Let me see. One, two, three, four. Yes, I did. Okay. 61. Oh, there's another 62. 63 and a half. 64. 62 and a half, 63, 62 and a half again, oh, 60, there we go, 61, 62 and a half again, you gotta go clear up here, 63 and a half, and 60 and a half, wow, okay, there's our chart. I'm going to erase this check mark so we can see it best. Okay. Wow. That's kind of neat, isn't it? Okay, so now that we have it plotted, we can answer some questions. So what's the most common height of sunflowers? Clearly, the most common height is 62 and a half inches. What's the least common height? Well, only one is this, and that's 60 inches. All right. So now, I want to know, what is the total number of plants that measures 62, 62 and a half, or 63? These are my most. So what's my total? So 62 has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I can do a number sentence. 62 and a half has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And 63 has 4. All right, let's add it up. Okay, well, I know that... 7 plus 5 is 12. Add 4. That is 16 plants. Wow. That's a lot of plants. Now, what, what is a number sentence to show how many plants are not 62, 62 and a half, or 63? Hmm. Well, what was my total number of plants that I did? I'm going to come up here. I'm going to count my chart. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we had how many across? One, two, three, four, five. Six times five is 30. So we had 30 plants measured. How many are not of these three? Well, we can do 30, take away 16, and that would give us our answer, wouldn't it? And that answer is 14 plants are not falling in the least in the most common. Thanks. Okay. So if the three most frequent measurements are 61, no, wait a minute, are 62, 62 and a half, and 63, then does that mean that her plants all fall between 62 and 63 inches? No, it doesn't, does it? 
because we still have these others. We have some at 60 inches, we have some at 64 inches, and 60 and 60 and 64 does not fall between 62 and 63. All right, this is what you're going to do. You're going to plot larger line plots, and you're going to answer some questions about them. I'll see you soon.